subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. With me are members of the health department of the Tamenglong district in Manipur. With over 90% of the district under forest cover, the COVID-19 vaccination program has been anything but smooth. In order to ensure full coverage, the healthcare workers in this district must battle vaccine hesitancy, uh, dangerous roads, as well as a lack of manpower and healthcare infrastructure just to get the job done. We're here today to learn just what it takes to vaccinate a village in Tamenglong. Depending on where they're going to go, healthcare workers assemble at the district's medical complex as early as 7 a.m. The trip involves trudging through rough terrain and roads that are still under construction, or in some places, non-existent. Sometimes, this means travelling to one village takes up to four hours one way. So yesterday we went to Bamgaizang village. It is around 20 kilometers side, more than 20 or something. Huh. Uh, the road was very bad. Hmm. So we have to push the vehicles also, hmm. and <laughs> the vehicles. Uh, oh, they say that spring also broken then within, uh, in between the road, huh. and we came back here around 8:30 p.m. Today's destination is a village located off the Tamenglong Kongsang Highway, considered among the better roads in the district, even though it is under construction. On the way, a landslide occurred and the team waited as an earth digger removed the debris blocking the road. Today also we are conducting at Sangrumpang village, which is about 25 kilometers away from Tamenong headquarters. Hmm. And then uh, we are waiting for the beneficiaries to come and we are uh, preparing the session sites. Hmm. So uh, we need uh, the 4x4 facility vehicle, hmm. like the Gypsy, Bolero pickup, and all those uh, uh, stronger vehicles we need. Hmm. And then once uh, we go to the village also, uh, it takes a long time to come back to the, uh, I mean, the call center point. Mm. And we have to collect the vaccines at the call center point and go to the village site for the vaccination, not only this COVID, but also for uh, this uh, routine immunization. Mm. And very few villages are easily accessible by vehicles, but maximum of the villages are not accessible. And so conducting any health programs or conducting routine immunization is done through uh, this own, uh, own food route. They have to go on foot hmm. and actually we need to come back on the same day so that the vaccine which is not used or that vaccine which can be used, hmm. uh, reused, uh, has have to be deposited at the cold chain point. Okay. And the vaccine wastage is also very high here. Hmm. But the only the boon which uh, we are uh, having here in this uh, district is that the climate is not so warm and then uh, I mean moderate and then the temperature is not so high. So. Uh, it is the, uh, I mean, the boon for all of us mm. to maintain the uh, vaccine temperature even at the hour session. But bad roads and transportation are just part of the problem. The other is a deep sense of vaccine hesitancy. Healthcare workers often have to visit a village twice, the first time to conduct an orientation so villagers are confident about taking the vaccine. Even then, in Sanglungpang, only 77 people out of a population of 733 came out to get vaccinated. ปูแกเมียปูเพลชันเรียวกันเดนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะนะน
Pri hu la ka lo ngo sini. Wei na. Mei wei na. A lo tem ta ka nu wei ka pe ti ka ni de ta ta ju nyao su yin ji. Ei ai gang na sa ro ka. Kum ja mi tong de tu chop ta na di tian ti ni. Ti mo bi ya doctor chop ta na ko ti ding la. Kum ta na ma ka mo nu ma ka. Chop ta na ka mi he na ai ta ni ta sa ba ni sa. On the way back to the district headquarters the team stopped to set up another vaccination camp at a bus stop for a few villagers from a neighboring village. Tamenglong's connectivity issues spell trouble not only for its COVID-19 vaccination program but for its health infrastructure as a whole. The our district is little uh, far from the capital and plus the road is very deplorable right now because of the new uh, this widening and the other things going on and moreover the season itself the monsoon season. So difficulty is there, but um, somehow in the uh, district hospital we have specialists are there. Uh, already new postings are there. So to say the oxygen plan is also coming up, and then uh, otherwise uh, somehow we are managing with all those things. Okay. So you are said that compared to the other districts um, <coughs> that you are lacking in certain things. What are those things, and uh, what, what yeah, can you say like yeah, say like we don't have a blood bank. Over the last month, Deputy Commissioner of the District Armstrong Pame has organized more specialist doctors and oxygen concentrators for the district hospital, but it still lacks essentials like a blood bank and dialysis unit. A gap the administration and health department are hoping to fill soon. Reporting from Tamenglong, this is Simran Sirur for the Print.